Oops, look what I just found, a video that should have been posted months ago. Watch this video as Jeff installs the bushings on the back blade for the quick hitch as we start to prepare for our winter season. He also wants your opinion on the rear windshield wiper. It just doesn't work for him. Let us know what you think. Hello world. What are you working on today? Uh, well, winter's coming and uh, I've got a back blade that I need to uh, secure to an, a John Deere iMatch quick hitch. Uh, the back blade is uh, got category one pins on it, but the iMatch quick hitch kind of requires bushings to fit properly. As you can see, if you look down here, if I lifted this up, there's tons of play. Oh yeah, look at not, that. Not so much on the bottom, but on the side to side, because I, I lowered it down so it would fit. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you buy one of these bushings. How much and did that cost? Uh, they're between $35 and $40 okay. for a set of bushings. Um, kind of kind of a necessary evil. Yeah. So what you do is just, you, what you're doing is you're covering the category one hitch with this bushing and then it fits properly in the oh, quick yeah. hitch. That's nice. Yeah, it fits, yeah. How so do you secure it though? Well, Use one of these little spring clips like this and you, you Oh even I can do that. Well, yeah, you could even do that. When you take it, you know, I need to crimp it down a little bit. What you do is you crimp it down a little bit and then you I might even be able to get this to work like this. You, you hammer it in. You hammer it in with a... Uh, I need to crimp it down a little bit. So oh, I maybe need to make I couldn't it a little do it then? It's not easy enough for me to do it? Well, yeah, I mean, I just need to take a pliers and crimp it down a little bit. Yeah, no, I know. Um, and then, and then you, you tap it in with a hammer and it's secure. Now there's a hole on the other side. So if you ever needed to remove this bushing, say you're gonna get rid of the, the eye match and just put it straight into the three point hitch, mm -hmm. you'd have to remove that bushing. So you'd pound it through straight through the other side. And then remind me why you have the, I forget the. Back blade? No, the the other the eye match. The eye match, yeah. Why do you have an eye match? Well, I have the eye match because it makes picking up implements uh, a lot easier than trying to work into a into a three point uh, hitch. Uh, usually, you just pick it up once everything's lined up. Pick it up, throw the uh, lever, mm -hmm. and you're locked in. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, they're actually a nice feature to have. Not every implement is compatible with a quick hitch. Mm -hmm. Not every quick hitch is exactly the same size. So there's a little bit of uh, learning on your implements and what works, what doesn't. I see. Yeah. Okay, cool. The thing about it is you really don't want this level of slop in your, in your quick hitch, especially if you're pulling dirt or moving snow. Mm -hmm. You really kind of want things a lot more secure. Yeah. Yeah, you don't like that, that level of slop. Well, it's good to get this all ready because maybe that will give us good karma and we won't have snow this year. Yeah. Now, <laughs> there's also, for your, for your top, for your hook, there's also little bushings that would go in. And this is a category two, and this makes a category three. And you can just slide those bushings on. Now, this, this particular uh, implement's already got some bushings on there but that's what you would do if you needed to okay. so that the hook doesn't have a lot of slop either. Okay. So we're doing that today and uh, we're gonna change out some wipers. Oh Walk yeah? Behind you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Why, wow, you think it rains here? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's really... I can't believe we have so, a dry day. So one of the... Uh, one of the things about John Deere and write in your comments if you agree with me or disagree with me, but I feel like the wiper's on the wrong side. Um, as you're sitting in the, the driver's position, normally don't you look off your right shoulder and, and look, what the, uh, look what the wiper covers. It covers to about here, and then you've got curvature on the back windshield that doesn't get wiped. Hmm. So I, I honestly feel like this wiper should be on that side. 
tell me what you think. Uh, I'm sure there's a reason for doing it on this side. It might just be manufacturability, but I like, think that it's a little backwards. Hmm. And luckily, the other thing is, luckily, this is a standard J-hook, which is probably one of the most common types of uh, ways of hooking a uh, normal wiper. So it's not, luckily, it's not a John Deere proprietary wiper. You can just go to any automotive parts store and get a normal wiper, which is great. Good thing I have the camera on, otherwise you'd be cussing. Saying some colorful language. Do I have uh, a lack of patience, baby? No. It does want to go. There, there we go. you go. There we go. Piece of cake. Now I can see the half of the windshield I don't really care about. <laughs> uh, again, uh, tell me what you think. Uh, as you can see, what the wiper covers and uh i don't know so i gotta turn back quite a bit to actually see through clear glass hmm. i think it's a poor design on john deere's part but that's just my opinion uh so i'm gonna finish this up and uh get ready for winter it's about 35 degrees right now and it feels like snow is on the way Sesta out thanks for watching Okay, well, that was a pretty quick job. It was relatively painless. Um, I just want to zoom in and show you how much better this fits with the newly installed bushings. As you can see, I was able to uh, pound in this little, uh, this little spring uh, without too much of a problem. I actually, I can't believe how hard it was to just pound it in without giving it a little crimping to get it started but otherwise uh, everything went as planned and uh, that was a very simple job um, wipers are in front and back uh, the next job will probably be snow chains which I just purchased and will be installing uh, on a day I have more energy. Uh, hopefully a nice dry warm day. Okay, for now, Sesta out. Thanks for watching. There you have it, all put in place. Oh, and check out those beefy tire chains. He finally got those put on too. Thanks for watching today, bye-bye.